This is my favorite recipe that I'm making today. It's called the Big Easy, a big easy fried chicken sandwich straight out of New Orleans. I love this. It's a beautiful take on a classic fried chicken sandwich using buttermilk biscuits as our bread. fried chicken. And I also love New Orleans. So today I'm making the Big Easy. It's a spicy fried chicken sandwich on buttermilk biscuits. So I have some panko and I also have some flour. Now the first thing you want to do is just trim your chicken. I've already trimmed this one. So just getting any pieces of fat off of there, any irregular little shapes. And then what we want to do is we really want to flatten this. So take all your aggression, get yourself a chicken mallet and just get in there. And we just want to get it pretty thin. So it's nice and flat and even. I like that. And now I'm just going to take my knife and cut off any pieces that kind of popped out along the way. And then one breast is really big enough for two sandwiches. So I'm just gonna cut directly down the middle and kind of square this up before getting it breaded and getting it into my fryer. We want nice cute sandwiches. And I think a little extra gratuitous. <laughs> All right, it's all done. <laughs> I got it all out of my system. So life is super easy if you have a deep fryer, but if you don't have a deep fryer, you can just make these in a skillet, cast iron preferably, and just make sure you have about one and a half inches of oil all the way throughout, and get that heated because we want it hot. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my flour, my panko, and then rub. Use whatever rub you like. Use your favorite rub. I'm using mine, but use any one that you like. Even create your own, it'll be more exciting. And I'm actually gonna put half of that into this. And we wanna give it just like a good shake. I'm always a little extra messy here. Just get it in there. Get it blended, make it uniform. And now this recipe, I did one hack. And the hack that I did in this recipe is I used already pre-made dough to make my buttermilk biscuits. If you have time and you wanna make yours from scratch, I can show you that recipe as well. But for me, I'm trying to be quick and get dinner on the table. So the ones that are store-bought are just fine with me. I'm just adding some milk. Just to make sure that my chicken is gonna be able to be submerged and fully coated. Now we're ready to get into the fun part. This is where the heat comes in. So I have one tablespoon of a Cajun hot sauce and I'm putting that right into my milk. And then I like a lot of heat. So I have Scotch bonnet powder. You can also use ghost pepper, whatever you want, or just chili powder. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. I'll put a little more, I like it hot. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands because the last thing I wanna do is touch my eyes. <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm just gonna give my butter, hot sauce, and bonnet powder a nice little stir. Make it uniform. You can use heavy cream buttermilk, a blend, whatever you'd like to do. So now the first thing we wanna do, take the chicken and just really coat it nicely. You want your chicken to be super coated. So we're gonna dredge it in the flour, and then we're gonna take it out, give it a good little shake. 
and put it on the plate, awaiting the fryer. I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one, coating it nicely. It's beautiful. Putting it into my flour mixture and giving it a good little shake. Now, if you're a person that doesn't like mess, you probably don't want to be frying chicken. <laughs> but it's really fun. We'll give that one a little shake. Just make sure that all of the flour and the panko went into the little crevices. We'll let that sit. chicken ready. All right, now it's time to make the sandwiches. I got good pieces of bib lettuce just because I want some color, but I also have pickles because I believe every fried chicken sandwich has to have pickles. And then a little bit of mayo. But you can add hot sauce, ketchup, mustard, anything you want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dress the buns. I love mayo and I can never get enough of it. So I like to dress both of them. I know some people like to do mustard on one and mayo on the other or whatever. There's no wrong way of eating it. As long as you eat it, you're okay. There we go. Then I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle of salt, just for some fun. There we go. And then I love using hamburger sliced pickles, but you can be creative. You can use any type of pickles you want. There's no wrong way of doing this. Put that there. I like to put mayo on both mine, top and bottom, because I think that you can never have too much mayo. So have at it. A little sprig of salt. just for that fun. Then dress it with some pickles. A little bit of lettuce. Our beautiful Cajun chicken. And voila. Let the good times roll, baby. <laughs> In 20 minutes, we have beautiful Big Easy sandwiches. Enjoy.